All right. In this segment, what we're going to do is a color-on-color uh, -color render. And the idea is same studio color as the sheet metal, which is the car paint. So here, for example, I want to do yellow on yellow. I think it's a beautiful car. It looks great on the car. It's going to be saturated, vibrant, and just fun to look at. So to start the image, we're going to throw on a V-ray frame buffer and create a light source. This is just so we kind of see when the VFB is on, when our uh, real time is functioning, and now we could uh, actually start painting our environment. So what I'm doing is creating a big softbox. And this is going to be one of our fill lights for the background. And what I'm going to do is load my circle gradient light. So HDRI sphere. And the whole purpose of this light is to light the environment in a very nice and diffused manner. And I'll probably move the background just so I get this little sidewall cove thing happening. I'll be rotated like so. This way we'll just get some more uh, depth and shape and shade in our environment. All right, make sure that's set to invisible. Make sure the light sits really high up so it kind of shimmers across the psych wall. So let's see here. Sampling, make sure cutoff is zero. And that's looking nice. We're getting a nice little hot spot right there. I'm getting a nice diffuse light, nice and soft. I'm going to uncheck effect reflections and uncheck effect specular since all I wanted to do is affect the diffuse of the background. I'm going to copy that light and move it over to this other side, like so. I'm going to bump up the width of it, kind of place it back here, maybe tone down the intensity. like that all right that's looking good nice and soft all right now what i'm going to do is add a hero light to the environment which is going to be a strobe light so what i'm going to do here is go to v-ray lights go to disc light and just create like a strobe move it over here visible targeted Target at the car, turn on some directionality, make sure our cutoff is zero, change it to watts, 500, 2000, 1000. I don't want it to affect the, uh, the reflection, and I'll probably turn down the specular to about 0.4, so that way it's more of a uh, shadow diffuse light source versus a actual light source to affect the sheet metal fifteen hundred point two all right that's feeling good so now we want to actually add some uh, detail to the vehicle now what I'll do is I'll select my uh, psych wall, which is broken up into two segments, once the base and once the ceiling. I just want to make the ceiling visible as a box so I can see through the top view, but it's essentially one seamless psych wall, but I'll just make it a selection set called psych. All right, so now I'm going to create a light plane. I'm going to go in and exclude the psych wall right away. So psych, exclude. Create a square rectangle type of light. Make sure it's set to invisible. Bring it over here. And the trick is to use white lights. While we want our uh, actual studio to be yellow and the car paint to be yellow, the white is going to help separate the two. Otherwise, it's just going to all blend in together. And then what I'll also do is check out the uh, white balance. I guess that's fine. Now just a matter of bumping it up some. So I'm going to do a V-Ray bitmap. Use my sphere light. That's going to give me a nice, very diffuse type of feel to the light. 500. 
maybe move it over here some so we get some rim light and start separating the car from the background. Move it up. So we should get some nice shimmer on the chrome on the grill. Now we're going to tone it down a notch. Maybe turn down the specular like so. All right, now we're going to copy the light. We're going to move it behind the car. Move it above. We're really getting a, a pinkish tone to it, which is probably due to all the, all the yellow that we have. So the way we could fix this is two ways. One in post, or two, what we're going to do is adjust our material of the psych wall and make it a V-ray, where is it, override material. We're going to keep that diffuse, and we're just going to instance copy it all the way across. And now I'm going to copy it and put it in the reflection slot as a paste. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going to go in and change the way the reflection attributes work on the site wall. So if I make it pure white, as you can see, we're getting a pure white reflection. So I am just going to tone down the yellow so it's not as saturated on the reflection. And I might do the same on the GI and see what that does. So there we go. That was the trick. So we have both of these. I want to make sure it's an instance, and it is. And the whole idea is to make sure our GI bounce is not as saturated as our diffuse. So let's do this. We're going to make this pretty desaturated. And we could actually go in and darken it some. So that way we have some contrast in the, uh, the image. So we're going to go something like that. I hit more yellow because you can see now we're having some of that pinkish go away. And there we go. That's already feeling better to me. It's uh, less yellow and more visually appealing. So maybe tone that down some. All right, we're going to create another light. Exclude the psych wall. Good top view, make that invisible. And we're going to give it the uh, the wet reflection look. And to do that, we're just going to load a V-Ray bitmap and this half gradient. Drop it in here. As an instance, and change the tunneling to 0.98 to get rid of the white light on the edge. All right, now we're just going to move the light up some to get the uh, just the reflection placed in a more appealing part of the car. Maybe not. Nope, that's not too bad. Let's see what would happen. All right, so... All right, and now what I want to do is I want to get the same type of effect happening on the window. So I'm just going to copy the light, move it up and above the car. As you can see, now we're hitting the glass. So now I'm just going to angle it a little differently. Here we go. And I can scale that down since all I really wanted to do is hit the glass. All right, like so. All right, and now what we want to do is get some fill on this black hole up front. So, and what I'll do, so because I have it on view by object color, 
not material color. I'll just change this to like a dark gray so I can see where my lights are. So I'm going to copy this light, move it over to the front, aim it at the car, <clears throat> kind of put it on top over the car so we're not flattening anything. There we go. Maybe angle it even more. Here we go. So that's going to give us some nice shape on this body line. On here, I think this is carbon fiber, so we're going to expose some of that. Beautiful. I think my brake rotor material might be a little intense on the bump, so we're going to tone that down. Yep. There we go. So brake rotor. Change it from 30 to like 10. There we go. All right. Now that we have that, let's see. We just have the front wheel that's feeling kind of dead. So if I remember correctly, I might have the wheels on their own thing. Nope, that's the body. Oh, here we go. Well, and it just might crash on me. I think I just screwed up. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> All right, so tires and rims. We're going to make a selection set named wheels. There we go. Now we're going to go to the front view. Options, exclude. We're going to name it wheels. Include. And I hope that's the wheels. Looks like it selected a lot of objects. All right. Map. We're going to load in. Oops, wrong one. I'll just do an instance. Okay. And we will load in just the round gradient sphere. This one. Just lower this a bit. There we go. And now that's essentially our render. And then we'll just render it real quick and then do the rest in post. So let's turn on the lens flares. Those are always a nice touch. We want to make sure our background does not come out in the alpha so that way our car is independent from it and there we go so we have the car and let's see if we have the alpha set up we sure do perfect all right ready to start the render and retouch so i'm going to pause the video while this renders out all right now that it's done rendering we're going to put it in photoshop duplicate that layer throw in all of our alphas so let's throw all those in here. There we go. Throw in our glare pass. There we go. All right. Change it to 8-bit. That's good. All right. First things first, car paint. So I'm going to go ahead and create an alpha. I want to create a new layer. This is just going to be to test something. I'm going to fill it in with yellow. Darken it a little bit. This. Okay. 
All right, let me see if I. All right, I might do this and just brush it right in here. See how it's a little washed out? So I am going to go in and just gently brush in some of this yellow just in here. And I'll probably darken it a little more. Maybe give a little bit of more of an orange hue. There we go. So as you can see, this just gave us some of that depth back into the paint to match the rest of the uh, the car. Perfect. All right, now I'm just going to add a little bit more contrast. Like so. There we go. Now our background is on its own independent layer. So what I'll do, just go in and just brush in just slightly right in there. I don't want it to affect my shadow, so I'm going to brush that out. So, so let's see what we did. Just a little bit. All right, I'm going to add another one. I'm going to magic wand the white. Just give it a little bit of a kind of like a halo around the car. Nothing too crazy, just a hint. Now I'm going to take it off the shadow side, all right? So as you can see, we're just giving it a little bit of a highlight. Nothing too much, just to separate the car from the background some more. All right, I want my wheels to pop and the actual black bits of the wheels. So we'll just select that. Add a little curve to it. Just pop it like that. There we go. All right, that's looking good. It's looking good. Um, I'm almost done. I don't really want to add more than I have to. Um, might add a same thing, a yellow on soft light. And just brush it in down here. And up here. Maybe darken it some. Let's see what that's doing. Yeah, I like I like that. All right, things are looking good. All right, might tone that plastic down inside the grill. So that's my red alpha channel. Go in above the car. Gonna darken it some. Gonna group that just so I can quickly brush it in only on the top part. I like the details I'm seeing in the bottom. I do want to open up that chrome a little bit, so select the blue channel. There we go. Exposure. Bump it up, give it a little bit of flat type of fill, group it, just a little bit there, a little bit on the grill just to make sure that beautiful thing pops. Let's see what else does this affect. Badge, yep, let's give it some detail there. Emblems on the wheels, I like that. There we go. All right. So this one, not really much in terms of retouching. It's pretty straightforward. It came out looking pretty decent. Let's see what other stuff. Typically, I give a little bit of contrast to my tires. So we'll just do that as well. Bump them up like that. There we go. Just like that. And the one thing I did want to tweak, I'm going to select kind of this range and just brush it right into here just to even it out some. There we go. Like that. And that's good. So as always, merge. Add a hint of blur. Run it through my little Exposure X stuff. 
hide all these. There we go, just give us some saturation, maybe bump up the highlights, turn down the exposure just a little bit, a little bit of a glow, and a little bit of before and after. There we go. And that is a very simple yellow on yellow studio render. And you could use the same concept with blues, reds, doesn't matter, whatever you want, just concept is use white lights to light the car and then give the uh, the environment the sheet metal the same color paint and then if you have to do the uh, the V-Ray switch material or Corona switch material I believe that's what it's called as well to kind of change the way the uh, the environment affects the sheet metal so it doesn't become pink or whatever but that's it very straightforward and simple